Hello everyone, I'm Raghva. Today I'm presenting my project Deep Fake Video Detection using deep learning techniques. The term deep fake is a combination of two words, deep learning and fake. Deep learning is a part of machine learning that can feature engineer on its own, which simplifies the task of the implementer. The simplest form of deep fake algorithm superimposes a target face onto the image or video of a source face. This is referred to as face swap. In the portrait of uh, the United States President Abraham Lincoln that you could see here, this is a fake image which was created by superimposing uh, President Lincoln's face onto the politician John Calhoun's body. This, with the advent of AL and ML, deep learning has gained widespread uh, acknowledgement. This paved the way for the users to use deep learning techniques for synthesizing deep fake images and videos. There are multiple classification of deep fakes. The entity face synthesis, attribute manipulation, identity swap, expression swap. Expression swaps contain like lip sync, modification of features. These are the different types of deep fakes that you could see. Face swap. This is the predominantly used type of deep fake, wherein there exist two videos, source and destination. The face of a person in the destination video is swapped with the face of the person in the source video. The creation of deep fakes can be done using multiple GAN technologies. The deep autoencoder is a type of the deep learning technique that is used for the image compression and dimensionality detection. The latent features are extracted from the face images using an autoencoder. The decoder is then used to construct a face using the extracted features. The decoders act independently. The encoders are connected via a network and then share the data among themselves. Detection of deep fake. The deep fake detection is used to be a binary classification when the classifiers gave the video uh, the response of either a fake or real. For such classification problems, it is important to have a large data set to train the model. One of the most prominently used based algorithm to detect deep fake is support vector machine. The issue with the SVMs were that they have high error rate. The BL based detection techniques are gaining momentum as they give better result. In our proposed solution, we will be taking a deep learning approach to detect deep fakes. So first, the video which is to be tagged is gathered. The input video is then selected and uh, divided into multiple frames. The frames are subjected to phase alignment in the pre-processing step. Finally, the temporal based LSTM long short term memory model is applied to the frames, which checks if there are any inconsistencies between the frames that are extracted and actual reference to the video frames. In my solution, I have considered forensic plus plus data for the training data set. Auto encoders are used for compression and decompression of the video. Latent face, the image which are consideration is passed to the encoder, which gives a low resolution image as output. The latent face is passed through the decoder, which performs reconstruction. For the training of the model, we have one set of the source images, uh, frames that are overridden by destination frames, thereby producing a manipulated video. In the next step, I'll walk you through the model pipeline, which is going through the input video, uh, the input uh, video is broken into frames and that is subjected to the CNN, LSTM and detection network to give the classification of a origin or deep fake. CNN is used to extract high level features like blinking of eyes, twitching of nose from video frames of both source and destination video. The conversion layers can be separated depth wise. The conversion neural network based exception model has 36 conversion layers. Once the data has gone through all the layers, it would be subjected for to regression layer. The exception model works really well with low quality images. Hence, I'll be taking the exception approach to perform this. The LSTM long short term memory is used to catch any inconsistencies that can be found in the video frames, which reduces the time required for training. CNN and LSTM together can be referred to as CLSTM. After pre-processing, the input videos are subjected to CLSTM. The output from this is sent to the dense layer, which remembers the temporal sequence and helps with the help of an activation function, ReLU. The second dense layer, which provides the final prediction. 
the model architecture for the solution is as shown. Each of these layers have linear connection except for the first and last layer. The given input video is divided into multiple frames. These frames are subjected to exception model, which identifies the frame as real or fake. The exception model is a type of CNN model and is a newer version of inception model, which is used as extreme inception. Each frame undergoes uh, image rescaling, shedding of uh, the uh, shear rescaling, zooming augmentation and horizontal flipping. The proposed model has two important components as explained CNN and LSTM. As part of the evaluation, for the evaluation, the pre-trained, the pre-processed data is subjected against the state-of-the-art models like EfficientNet B7, EfficientNet B1 LSTM, Ensemble methods, uh, deep fake detection challenge rank uh, uh, model algorithm, which was uh, uh, proposed as a Kegel computation. So after running through all of that, in comparison to the model uh, algorithm, which I proposed, we noticed that the CLSTM with exception model approach provides a better accuracy and area end of the curve. So with this, we were able to identify that the model is performing and detecting better for the uh, input data. The proposed solution is a new spatio-temporal hybrid model using CNN integrated with LSTM. CNN is used to identify the spatial inconsistencies from single frame that are introduced by the computer while generating deepfakes. Using guided back propagation, we can see that each capsule learns a different facial feature and focuses mostly on facial regions like eyes, outside of the eyes, nose, mouth. So with this, we are able to determine if it is a real or fake video. To improve on the model result, uh, uh, we, we identified that uh, training the data set with multiple different data sets would give a better accuracy. During the training phase, more data manipulation techniques could be considered. And since our uh, GAN is used for generating deepfakes, a model based on GAN might give a better accuracy for the deepfake detection. Thank you.